It's time for baseball now as the show's now, tour of the minors the continues with a stop Welcome in the Southern the League. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Biloxi Shuckers and the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Now batting Bryce Terang and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Lifted the other way out to left center and a great diving effort there but it'll just tip off his glove and it's a base hit. That the designated hitter left in. To the plate now, number 12. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. That is Stepping into the box, Joseph Austin is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The 1-1. One, one. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. The third baseman, Patrick Leonard. Into the box now, Patrick Leonard. And that nope. misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here Patrick that Leonard. could get them out of the, the inning. Third baseman, Jake Goodwood. Now the one and one pitch is in there for strike number two. With runners in scoring position this season, Gatewood carries a hitting line just over the 280s plateau. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Austin at second. Leonard is over at first with one away. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. The tag gets one. Throw won't get him. So coming to the plate, Blake Alamon. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Ready with the 2 1. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Ready with the payoff pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Ready now, Zane Gerwitz. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1-1. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. Called strike two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the center fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. here nobody out popped him up Gatewood has a play makes the play one away stepping up to the plate Bo way he did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one Swing and he pops him up. Leonard in foul ground, and no one will track it down. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the that's inning. Four. So stepping play. in, Jordan Zimmerman. Now the 2 1. 
Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Brendan Sanger would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fouled away. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. The next 3 2. And it's fouled away. Popped him up. Leal over to his right. And that retires the side. Digging in, Tristan Lutz. He's been swinging a hot bat in the series with seven base hits coming in. The 1 1. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Hit out towards second, and this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Batting it. The left fielder, number nine. Cooper. So now to the plate, Cooper Hummel. Runners off for second. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Leal. And the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Line, but speared on a hop in time to first, and there are two away. Digging in to try it again, Bryce Terang. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up, looked for it up in the zone, and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Striding into the box, Brendan Sanger. It's been a two for 14 effort for him to this point in the series. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Now in the box, Connor Justice. He's been a non factor in the series. No hits to this point. To two and two now. Lead off man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Standing in, Kevin Maiton. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Into the box now, Edwin Young. He comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point. Ready on one and two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Digging in for his second at bat, number 12. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 2-1 home is in there for the second strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. But well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot. Joseph Boston as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Strike two swinging. One and two. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But right at the shortstop for the second out. Now that into the box, Patrick Leonard. He drew a walk his first time up. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Maichon has got it, and the side is retired. So striding forward now, Jack Kruger. He's hitless in the series so far. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Now at the plate, Zane Gerwitz. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. So digging in now, Roberto Baldacchi, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And it will end the inning thanks to a little help from his first baseman. And that'll be that. set for the start of the inning digging in Jake Gatewood reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around and the 2 1 now here's one hit in the air to the right side Gerwitz will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away one gone now to the plate Blake Olimon he was a strikeout victim in his first try bases are empty one man out Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Here's strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And this will bang up against the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in there. The center fielder, number 11, Cliff Daniels. At the plate now, Tristan Lutz. The count now at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. This one's flared out toward left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. The left fielder, number nine, Cooper Hummel. Into the box, Cooper Hummel. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Line hard. Fouled off. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Digging in, Carlos Leal. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He sent the 3-1. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. A payoff pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Out of the stretch. The 3-2 home. Right at the third baseman. And that'll end the inning. Ready for another chance. Bo Way. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. 
tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action out there, tough to decipher between the fastball and changeup. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. At the plate, Jordan Zimmerman. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, he's got to make an adjustment. You could tell this guy's been struggling with the bat in his hands. He's got a lot of frustration. He's gripping the bat too tight. He needs to relax, take a deep breath, and have a productive A.B. right here. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. One out, nobody on. Well, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Stepping in, Brendan Sanger. He drew a base on balls his first time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Two out, nobody on. To 2 and 2 now. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here it comes. We got a full count. Connor Justice would be next. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. The batter, number seven. In now, Connor Justice. The bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Eric Julio, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Ready for another shot now. Bryce Terang. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Young comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the now first that. out. Ready once well, again. Good. Number 12. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. A little early and now it's even at two and two. The pitch. And this is swung on and missed so it's two up two down to start the fifth. Now at the plate Joseph Austin one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there it's a ball and two strikes. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Bonnie pops it up. And that'll get down for a base hit. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. Now about it. The third base. Patrick. Into the box now. Patrick Leonard. Strike taken the throw. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. Ready with the one two runner in scoring position at second with two down fastball just missed above the zone outside in a full count three and two Jake Gatewood would be next. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Kevin Maiton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Oh, 
Another payoff pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Striding in once again, Edwin Young. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, and they get them both. Striding in, Jack Kruger looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The batter number 19. Stepping in now, Zane Gerwitz. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Roberto Baldacchini would be next. Into the corner and slicing foul. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Looped out toward third. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Digging in once again, Jake Gatewood. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1. One, one. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. Here it comes. And he popped him up. Waldo King into shallow left. He's there and records the first down. So striding in, Blake Alamond. Blake. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Standing in now, Tristan Lutz. And he fouls this one off. Skied into straightaway right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Cooper. The plate now, Cooper Hummel. All even now, two and two. Runners are at second and third with one down. A line shot to third base. At the plate, Carlos Leal. Over oh, two for him to this point. Leal. Here's the 2-1. He pulls this one into right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Scott Sunich enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 45. Stepping into the box, Roberto Baldokin. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. 1-1. One, one. Misses. Ball two. Sunich, a left-hander that stands six foot one inches tall. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. The 3-1. This is sky down toward right. Austin is there to put it away for route number one. Into the box now. Oh, way. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. One out, nobody on. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Now another one-two. 
Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Hummel is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jordan Zimmerman. Jordan Zimmerman. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Jeremy Rose is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 40, Jeremy at the plate now, Bryce Terang. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to be a base hit. So there's the possible go-ahead run aboard to kick off the seventh. The back, the designated hitter, left in Wilson. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Into the box, number 12. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Digging in now, Joseph Austin. He singled his last time up. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And the runner back safely. The 1-1. One, one. Now a throw over to first, but the runner's back easily. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside. The throw is there, and he's out trying to take second. The 3-1. Turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. Patrick Leonard. So now to the plate, Patrick Leonard. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Too high. Ball three. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. How about it? The now with the play, Jake Gatewood. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two men are on with two men out. Fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in, Brendan Sanger. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. And he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And that's out number one. 
Coming to the plate now, Connor Justice. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Count still at one and two. Pitch on the way. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. How about it? Stepping up now, Kevin Maiton. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And that one is gone. On a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate, Edwin Young. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. The throw into second. The tag, and he's nabbed trying for two. Luis Pena is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Stepping in now, Blake Alamon. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like this. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he'll get in at second base as the time runs aboard with a leadoff double. The center fielder, Tristan Lutz. To the plate now, Tristan Lutz. Still even at two and two. From the stretch. The swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. They've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. Now that the left user. And now Cooper Hummel. Hummel. <laughs> One and two now. <laughs> Fouled off. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Weak rounder back to the mound. To second for one. On to first. And you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. In now, Carlos Leal. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. From the windup, the 1-1. One -one. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Digging in and looking for more, Jack Kruger. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. 2-2. Uh, Hit two -two. on the ground to third. He's right there. And a good throw gets him one gone. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Zane Gerwitz. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The 1-1 is a ball down and away. Hit high and deep to right center. Right fielder is on the run, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he will make it in safely. It's a triple, and the go-ahead run is at third with only one away. Miguel Sanchez answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Standing in now, Roberto Baldaquin. 
One and two now as that one's fouled off. Sanchez, a 25-year-old, he throws a four-seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. Lined into right field, and it's going to get down. A base hit. Coming in to score easily is the runner from third, and they've taken the lead here in the eighth. At the plate now, Bo Wayne. Oh, and a look what I found out there on the mound. There's one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jordan Zimmerman. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage. Thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. A one two pitch. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. To two balls and two strikes now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Brent Hanowich takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 39. All set to start the ninth in this one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Bryce Terang. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, look at the sliding stop. What a play. Striding forward now is the DH, number 12. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Drilled on the ground is short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Now that. Now at the plate, Joseph Austin. He'll swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. A ball and two strikes now. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. I tried to backdoor him there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now batter. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Patrick Pat Leonard. Leonard. He'll be looking Leonard. for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. And a dive, but he's back in. And another throw no, over. A dive, but he's back. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Quick check on that tying run at first, and he'll dive back in. Two out with the man at first. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Now the 2-1. Hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now battle. The first base. Jake. Into the box. Jake Gatewood. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He can't get there. So the inning will continue. 
the second run will score as well. Jose Rodriguez takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Blake Oliver. Stepping in now, Blake Oliver. Hard liner towards short. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. The center fielder, number 11. Into the box now, Tristan Lutz. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Cooper Hummel would be next. Here's the three one. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Flips the inside corner for strike three. John Olsen comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 14. John. Settling in now, Connor Justice. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Gatewood onto the grass. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now back, first baseman, Kevin. To the plate now, Kevin Maiton. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. At the plate, Edwin Young. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, fellas, not sure if he got the go ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did. But it looked like he was running in mud right there. Austin has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. So a crucial moment here in standing in, Jack Kruger. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. The one-two. Lifted in the air to right field. Right fielder is on the run, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. Justice ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He'll score easily, as it's now a one-run ball game. Zane Gerwitz grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. As a look, now the pitch. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. Justin Topa takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Roberto Baldachin will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And he fouls this one off. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So stepping in, Bo Wayne, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches.
He set the three two. This is skied into short left center. Hubble is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Well that's what you call flirting with disaster right there. Tying run on third. Winning run on second. But that's where they stay. Hangs on to get the save. And that's all that matters. A one run finish today. Five to four the final score. The Shuckers used a three run ninth to help propel them to the win. Miguel Sanchez earns his third win of the year in relief. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. Here now are our final line score. First for the victorious Shuckers. Five runs, 15 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Trash Pandas, four runs on 10 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 10 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.